Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to solve problem related to Green's function so that you can easily relate with the previous video. In that video, I have already discussed the basic properties behind Green's function and using all these properties, we are going to solve this problem. So I will suggest you, if you haven't watched that video, go there and uh, actually in the description box i will provide that link so go there and watch that video write down all the properties and then come back in this video so it will be better for you fine now come to this problem look at here g x epsilon this is your green's function given to you in certain form and it involves a b c d all these things you need to find later on and the four options are given on this abcd correct and the green's function of certain differential equation you need to find out actually with the given to boundary conditions correct look at the given differential equation it is this one and the boundary conditions are y at one should be equal with y dash 1 and y is bounded as x tends to c so this is one this is another two boundary conditions okay look at in this problem already green's function is given so it is useless to verify whether green's function exists or not but as in our theory we have discussed how to check how to check the existence of Green's function. So we will um, give a brief idea about that so that you can easily relate with that video. Okay. Just for simplicity, look at this one actually is Ly equal to 0 as we have earlier discussed. Look at because your L was P0 Tn x to the power n plus p1 x n minus 1 x to the power n minus 1 and so on up to p n x where all this p p0 p1 p n these are all continuous function of x in certain interval so it is exactly of this form here the order is 2 you need to find its solution along with this boundary condition if y equal to 0 turns out to be only solution then we will say Green's function will exist so let's check so we will solve this one and you can easily write this in this form correct and if you try to solve you have this one and after that a log x plus p this is your y and using these two boundary condition look at y1 well with y dash 1 that will give you b here it will be a so you have this one in your hand and this second condition y is bounded as x tends to 0 which immediately implies that a must be equal with 0 otherwise it will be unbounded as x tends to 0 so a equal to 0 and from there it will have b equal to 0 so together implies that this expression turns out to be y equal to 0 which is trivial solution and by that previous discussion we can say Green's function will exist correct this is the procedure to check the existence of Green's function fine now we will come to the main part of this problem where look at this is your y this is your y and you need to construct this Green's function g x here g x j is equal with we will construct that Green's function, but it has a huge similarity with this y. Observe it carefully. A1 
log x plus b1 this will work for the interval 0 less than x less than psi and a2 log x plus b2 xi less than here it is not equal less than equal to 1 point to be noted here it is strictly less than here it is strictly less than. fine okay so it this green's function we have considered but we need to find a1 b1 a2 b2 using all these properties of green's function correct so we will use one by one first of all in that four properties we have that Green's function must satisfy the given boundary condition. So our boundary conditions are, look at these are our boundary conditions. These are. So you need to use y1 is equal to y dash 1. That means Green's function must satisfy that condition as well. Look at at x equal to 1, this part, this part will do the work for you and at x equal to 0 this part of Green's function will do the work for you. So, at x equal to 1, you have y1 equal with y dash 1. So, you have a2 log 1 plus b2 equal with a2. Just use that part of Green's function and use this condition you have a2 equal with b2 this condition you have correct now use as x tends to 0 our y is bounded so here this part will do the work for you for your Green's function so at x equal to 0 if that one should be bounded which implies that a1 is equal with 0 at x equal to 0 we are using that condition fine so the first property we have used and we got these two relation now another important property of Green's function which says that g x epsilon or here the notation epsilon or xi here I am just using that this notation as xi okay g x i it is it is continuous continuous at x equal to psi so we have look at just use the concept of continuity which will lead you a1 log epsilon again epsilon a1 log psi plus b1 equal with log epsilon b2 you have this one so already a1 equal with 0 use that one and also use a2 equal with b2 so finally what you have just take it common and you have this kind of stuff correct now use another property so this one we have in our hand now the next property which says that del z del x at x equal to xi plus minus del z del x at x equal to xi minus it will be minus 1 by p naught xi clear and in our case p naught was x so finally what we have del z del x at x equal to xi plus look at whenever x is greater than epsilon uh, greater than xi we have this one we have this one so what we have a2 after differentiating it and take it as 
x equal to xi plus we have this one minus a1 by xi is equal with minus 1 by xi and your a1 already is 0 so we have a2 is equal with minus 1 it is all about calculation you have to be very careful so we have a2 is minus 1 that immediately implies b2 is minus 1 we have already a1 equal with 0 and from this relation from this relation we have our b1 is minus 1 minus log chai correct all of this a1 b1 a2 b2 we have in our hand finally we are in a position to find the exact form of this g x epsilon correct and that g x epsilon should be now our new g x xi it should be continuous at x equal to xi as well correct just use all these values so here i am just writing it look at g x xi it was a1 it was a1 log x plus b1 in that range earlier a2 log x plus b2 psi then x less than with 1 and we have a1 as i think 0 b1 a2 b2 b1 is our minus 1 minus log psi and a2 and b2 all of these are minus 1 and minus 1 fine now look at just plug all these values and you will get the expression g x i is b1 it is minus 1 minus log xi and it is 0 less or equal to x less than look at here we have used the continuity property so we can use this one less or equal with xi here just use a2 and b2 and you will get minus 1 minus log x here it is xi less or equal to x less or equal to 1 fine now observe it carefully that this is the scenario whenever this kind of thing is in front of you it is equivalent with this g x epsilon is equivalent with look at you can simply take minus 1 common and it will have no effect and this one is less or equal to x less or equal to xi and this one xi less or equal to x less or equal to 1 simply you are taking minus 1 common and it is equivalent with that as well so you can immediately say that this part it is equivalent with your g x epsilon and observe in the problem they have given exactly the same form so just compare it and you will get a b c and d all of these are equal with one and which says that your first option is the correct option Clear? moreover you just observe it carefully that in our properties or result we have discussed that gx epsilon that means the green's function gx epsilon or gx xi or gx t whatever you want to say it is symmetric about the two parameters okay it is symmetric about x and epsilon or x and xi or x and t obvious fact here 
left is coming just replace x by z and it will have no effect on that so it is symmetric about x and z as in this video okay so it is all the all about green's function but if you have the properties and the results in your mind it will take it will take 6 or 7 minute maximum but uh, you should be very careful while doing the calculation because these problems are not very easy to handle sometimes the calculations are very complicated so i will suggest that this type of question you should attempt in second or third round while completing your paper okay, okay fine and if you have any question or query then go to the comment section and ask i will replay that one okay fine thank you